the I'll be discussing week 12 lecture, uh, claims in a written text. And before we proceed with the definition or um, the characteristics of claims, I want first to um, introduce you, bakit, uh, why is there a need to uh, get to know about these claims and to understand what are these? Because in meaningful reading, the your quarter two talks about reading na. Your first quarter is about writing. And then uh, the second quarter is about reading. So week 11 is about critical reading. And uh, to further um, understand what critical reading is, let's try to understand claims. So yun, when we talk about meaningful reading, it just not uh, deals with reading on the first level of um understanding but then when you talk about critical reading it involves analyzing and understanding the implicit information um, added or written by the author in a certain paper so implicit information these are informations which can't be seen from um, the writings or they are not directly expressed through words but you can um, analyze them by um, understanding all the words na sinabi ng isang writer or author. So these are hidden. Um, sometimes this may refer to the hidden agenda or purpose of a writer when they write. So one of our purposes is to persuade our readers to believe what we are writing or what we are saying when we say when we talk. So, yun yung mga implicit information. So, with these claims, let's try to have the definition. So, an arguable statement, an idea that a rhetor, a rhetor may pertain to speaker or a writer also. So, an idea that a rhetor asks an audience to accept and an opinion, idea, or an assertion. Sometimes, we tend to write um, random topics but uh, when we write, we make sure to include informations which are um, believable or acceptable to the readers. Diba ganun? Even in uh, writing, academic writing, for example, your teacher asks you to write an essay about a random topic. So you would think, um, paano ko kaya mapapaniwala yung teacher ko sa sinusulat ko? Yun. So sometimes if you can... Um, if you understand uh, the, the written text, you tend to ask, um, tama ba yung nabasa ko? Or maybe if you um, analyze properly the statement written by the uh, the writer or an author, natry nyo na ba yung kapag ka nagbabasa kayo, bigla kayong uh, you nod your head, you shook your head because of the statement. So sometimes, um, hindi nagmamatch yung sinasabi or sinusulat ng author with our belief. Diba? If you do that, if you uh, beg to disagree sometimes to whatever you have read, that's a good sign of uh, critical reading or meaningful reading. Para pag nagbasa lang kayo tapos pinadaan lang yung mata, hindi yan critical reading. Mababaw lang. Yan. Going back with claims, it is a statement we make to an audience or reader with an anticipation that they should agree with it. So, with the purposes of writing, we have three uh, purposes of um, writing. Writing to entertain, writing to inform, and writing to persuade. So, with the use of claims, one of our goal is to uh, make our readers agree with what we are writing. But this cannot happen at uh, all times. So, there are some instances when we're in... Um, when we write an idea or concept, which is a um, counterpart of the belief ng isang reader, so nag-disagree sila. That's the reason why there are a lot of uh, bashers or, you know, in the social media, yan yung maraming bashers. Kasi not everything we say is acceptable for our audience or our readers. Yan. But when we write claims, yun nga, we anticipate na they will agree with whatever we are saying. So it deals with the search for agreement and it involves anticipation. So a very um, simple 
description of a claim, it is debatable. So when you write some and it is uh, a debatable or arguable on the end of the readers, you were able to write a good claim. So napapaisip yung mga readers ninyo. May mga ganong writing ano kasi, papers. Yan. So I have here an example. Number one is we need a revolution. Let's analyze if these examples are considered claims. So we need a revolution. Is this debatable or not? Yeah, you may write your answers in the chat box. Again, we need a revolution. Is this debatable or not? Not? How come it's not debatable? And sabi ni Marco, it's debatable. Yes, it's debatable. When we say, we need a revolution in Filipino, mag tayo. Yeah. Will everyone ask? Of course, no. Because maybe um, there are some people who are into the government or the administration. So they support the administration. So why will they join revolution? So it's debatable. This is a claim. And later on, you will meet more of examples of a claim and they um, understand kung ano ba talaga yung uh, mga, uh, mga types ng claims. Next, I think we should have universal health care. Debatable or not? Not? But what if you are uh, the country's president? You are one of the leaders. And then someone would suggest you, I think we should have universal health care. Would you agree? Yeah, debatable yan. Kasi there are um, different types of people who will be involved in that uh, suggestion or to, to take an action on that certain suggestion. So let's say, for example, if you're a politician or the leader of the country or a state, and then they suggested that we should have universal health care, one of the concerns would be how. What sa Pilipinas nga hindi na magawa yung national health care? What if you will implement it in the whole, ano, uh, whole world, lahat ng bansa, diba? all nations? So this is debatable. I believe the government is corrupt. Debatable or not? I believe the government is corrupt. Sabi ni Aaron not. It's debatable. Why? Because there are people who will disagree to this statement. Who are those people? Maybe those um set citizens or filipinos who are uh, benefiting from the the government so if you are uh, if you belong to that um group of people who are suffering because of the government siguro you will agree that they are corrupt so may dalawang taong mag clash about this yeah so these are good examples of Claim. So let's now have the types of claims because we have three. And then let us discuss one by one. And I will show you more examples of this later on. So number one is we have claim of fact. So a claim asserts some empirical truth. Uh, these are claims or informations that we add or we write when we um, write a composition or paragraph in which this claim of fact are these are empirical truth. We cannot change it whether we like it or not. These are the truth. So, hindi na siya pwedeng paguhin. Sometimes can be determined by careful observation of past, present, or future. Are you sh I'll show you the, the category of um, factual claims later on. Considering these um, observations for past, present, and future events. So, meron kasi yun. Those we think rightly as being true or false, sometimes we cannot prove something as true or false 
but we can give reasons to believe the statement is true. This is when we tend to write, and uh, as much as we can, we search for um, references and um, sources so that we can gather um, factual information to include in our paper to make it strong. So yun yung um, kapag ka nagsusulat kayo, and uh, as much as you can, you want to include more of um, citations, um, information from different sources, published works, researches. Ayan. So even if it's not, uh, if you cannot say that this is uh, the fact, but you can provide evidences to make it true. Ayan siya, yun yung fact, uh, claim of fact. Argument usually turns on strength of evidence presented of reason for arguers belief in the claim. So that's what I'm saying. If you have the evidences, you can prove that the statement is true. Yan. So maraming mga data na pwedeng pagkuhaan ng um, support or evidences to your claim is a claim of fact. Yan. So we have three types of factual claims. Number one is factual or historical um, facts or claims. These are based on events that have happened in the past. So all of the data or all of the happenings recorded in the history are considered factual claims. We cannot change those things anymore. We cannot change the fact that Jose Rizal, our national hero, died in Bagumbayan, which is now called as Luneta Park. Tama ba? Is that true? True or false? Luneta, ah, uh, Luneta. Jose Rizal died, our national hero died in Bagumbayan, which is now called as Luneta Park. So true. Uh, even if you uh, will search from different sources, yun ang lalabas, kung saan namatay si Jose Rizal. So that is considered as factual claims. So everything that have happened in the past are considered facts. Yeah, no one can change those things. Number two, we have relational or based on recent studies or researches. These are the facts or truths that we can change or we can um, disagree with because of the support or the data or the evidences from different um, data gathering procedures. So, for example, sasabihin, excessive use of alcohol can cause um, too much damage on a human body or can cause diseases for the human body. Is that true? Excessive use of alcohol can cause um, too much damages or diseases to the human body. True or false? Yeah, true. What are the types of evidences that we can use to prove that alcohol is um, disadvantageous? Um, ano tawag doon? Nainumin sa katawan. Or is not good, really not good to your health. What types of data or what examples of, of data? Yeah, factual claim. Anong klaseng data ang pwede natin gamitin para mapatunayan na ang alcohol nga ay nakakasira ng katawan? Medical. Very good. Medical records. Uh, we can also have um, reports or researches conducted by the, the medical practitioners, mga doctors. Yan. Pwede yun. So as long as you have the, the evidence, you have the data, the support, it is considered as factual claim. So, for example, there is a patient and he has consumed alcohol from his early 20s until 60 years old na siya. Tapos, they compared um, his liver to the normal liver of a human body. So, pwede yun. Medical reports or medical records. Number three is we have predictive factual claims. So these predictive factual claims, these are events which will happen in the future. So they are not happening yet and they have not happened yet. But um, there is a basis or there are supports that can 
uh, strengthen the claim na it will happen. For example, um, there will be uh, the national elections on 2022. Tama ba? 2010, tama. There will be a national elections in the Philippines by 2022. Predictive siya in the sense that the last national election happened in 2016. So six years is the year of service of a president. So 2016 plus six is equals to 2022. So the next presidential elections will be on 2020. That's a predict predictive factual claim. Yan. So what is the basis? Yung nangyaring election na. And then um, that is also in the law. Yung years of service ng isang uh, president. And um, the interval of presidential elections is every six years. Yan. What else? Um, the Al volcano may explode or erupt within the month because of the uh, tremors that are happening in the past few weeks. True or false? The Al volcano may erupt or explode within the month because of the volcanic tremors that have happened in the past few weeks. Yeah, true. So, hindi pa siya nag-explode. Diba? Hindi pa siya sumabog. But because of the data that uh, were released a past few weeks lang. I think ito na itong week lang yun. So, hindi pa siya nangyari but we can predict something that may happen because of the data. So, the support for this claim requires the following. Sufficient and appropriate grounds. So, I have my nalindol na po din. Mag-ingat po dyan sa Batangas. Ayan. So, sufficient and appropriate grounds as long as uh, your evidence is again prove that your claim is fact or claim your claim is true. Yan. It can be in the form of reliable authority, recent data, accurate and typical data, as well as clearly defined terms. So, for example, um, relational, so based on the investigation of the doctors or um, the policemen, so, pwede yun. Mga katotohanan dahil sa researches. And also the predictive ones. Yan. Kailangan meron kang accurate na data. Yun. So, let's have some examples of claim of fact. So, research studies are conducted to improve human condition. Is this debatable? Research studies are conducted to improve human condition. Debatable but debatable ba yan? Yeah, debatable. Because not all researches are for human condition. Some of the researches are for business. Some are for um, organ organizations. Some are for marketing strategies. Some are for inventions. Maybe for inventions, yun, we can consider those as uh, something to improve human condition. So, can we prove that this is correct or this is true? Research studies are conducted to improve human condition. What are the evidences that research have improved human condition? What products? What um? What products of research can be used to, imp uh, to prove that human condition have improved over the years? So we have the, your cell phones, your uh, internet, computer, washing machine. You have the electric, uh, rice cooker, ayan, rice cooker. So, diba, those are based on studies or research studies and it helps you to live easier. So, this one is true or a fact and is also debatable. So, this is a good claim. Ayan. Gets ba? Baka may question, naguguluhan. Ah, 
Okay, next. Climate change has already become an issue in the country. True or false? Claim of fact or... Parang mabilis ata ako mabilis ko. Sige, analyze. Climate change has already become an issue in the country. Is it a claim of fact or not? True. Yeah, what are the evidences that we can use to prove that climate change has become an issue? What are the effects of climate change? Summer ngayon may bagyo. Yeah, floods. We have um, forest fires in Australia. That's last year. Yeah, El Nino and La Nina. So those are effects of climate change and these have become issues in the country. Like for example, because of too much heat, yan, yung sa, sa sobrang init. Shortage, water shortage, that's one of the effects. Diba? So it's an issue. So this is a claim of fact. Number three, success of teaching depends upon the creativity of the teacher. True or false? False. This one is debatable. Yung search of the uh, success of teaching depends on the creativity of the teacher. This one is debatable. And this is also a fact. Only if we can provide a story of a creative teacher who has become successful in teaching. So if you have the data of that teacher na naging successful siya sa pagtuturo, we can say that it depends on the creativity of the teacher. But this is also a debatable um, statement kasi not every teacher is creative, but they are also successful in teaching. Yan. Pero paano mo siya mapuprove na tama? Yun na, nasabi ko na. Pag meron ka lang story, for example, biography of a creative teacher, proven creative teacher who, he, uh, who has become successful in teaching. So we can say that this is also true. Yeah, survey, that could be. Yan, pag sa research, pwede yun. So for example, your title is about uh, the relationship of creativity of the teacher and the success, uh, success in teaching. So, with the data that you will be able to gather, you can prove if creativity is a factor to become successful in teaching. Yan, I'm glad na, na ano, naisip nila yung, naisip ni Stephanie yung survey. Pero ayun, nagets na yung sa claim of fact. As long as you have the evidences to support your claim and uh, you can prove that the, uh, the statement is true or a fact, that is considered as a claim of fact. The thing is, if you want to write claims of fact, you just have to collect more of um, evidences or data to, to strengthen your claim. Yun ang kailangan mo. So pag wala kang nakuhang mga ano, sources or uh, evidences, hindi mo siya mapuprove as a fact. But if you have so much of evidences, it's a claim of fact. Basta kaya mo siyang ilipin. The second type, the second type of claim, okay, number two or the second type of claim is claim of judgment or value. So, claim that asserts a judgment of some sort. This one is easy to uh, identify. You just have to look for keywords that are the matter of judgment rather than fact. So, if your claim um emphasizes comparison of two things or you compare a thing uh, among all. So that is considered as a claim of judgment. So a claim is based on things we like or dislike. Uh, it deals with goals, with things we find attractive. And it depends on your preferences. So madali lang siyang ma-identify because your aim is to... Uh, to express your judgment towards those things or objects that you want to compare. 
So these agreements over values are not wrong in the sense that they inaccurate. With these claims of judgment or claims of value, uh, you cannot say that uh, the person who disagrees with your statement is wrong. Inaccurate yung uh, pagsasabi mo ng mali siya because that is based on his preference. So, yung, yung term na hindi lahat. Ayan. So, kung sa'yo ganyan, sa akin hindi. Yun yung sa claims of judgment or claims of value. So, argument usually turns on whether underlying value of the claim is accepted as a public good. And, uh, you know, the, the thing is, yung sa mga netizens, yung mga nagbabash, yan. So, if you express your opinion and your opinion is based on your preference alone and uh, the public disagrees with your with your statement so nag nagkakaroon ng argument So, nagets ba? Kaya mayroong mga basher. Because if you express your opinion based on your preference, and then uh, that is, um, it's not part of their belief or um, it clashes with their belief, nagkakaroon ng argument. So, let's have some examples. Madali lang tong sa claim of value. Musical comedy is the best form of entertainment. Agree or not? Oh. Musical comedy is the best form of entertainment. According to Stephanie, it's not. So, hindi siya nag-agree. And that you are not wrong. And for those who have agreed with the statement, you are also not correct and not wrong. This is based on your preferences. So whether you agree or you disagree, we can say that this is a good claim. Yan. Depende sa, sa tao yan. For, uh, for those who have agreed, maybe you are into music. And uh, yung nag-disagree, baka the form of entertainment that she loves is not music. Maybe it's books or um, Korean drama, or games. Yan. So, if you have your different forms of um, entertainment and you heard this statement, of course, you will disagree. But this one is a good claim. Yan. So, magkukos to ng argument. Music change my mood. Yeah, ako rin. <laughs> but not at all times, depending on the music. Yeah. So, staying with the family with a limited income is more valuable than being away earning a lot. Do you agree or not? Staying with the family with a limited income is more valuable than being away earning a lot. It says here, okay lang daw na kahit konti yung pera, basta mag Kesa yung marami kang pera pero magkakalayo naman. Agree. I have some students yesterday, they, they answered disagree because they cannot roam around Dao, the city, if their parents are in the Philippines. So maybe they are, their parents are abroad. That's why they uh, disagree. But this one is a good claim. It can, um, it can, uh, it can start uh, a debate between two people. Yan. Kung meron silang um, different belief towards this matter. Communication is better than computation. Do you agree that communication is better than computation? Agree. Yeah, if you are a person who is good in mathematics, I'm sure communication is a uh, computation is better than communication for you. But if you are not that good in mathematics and you can 
easily express yourself through communication, you will agree. So the, it depends on the preference of the the person yeah, to accept the, the statement. So if I am good in English and I'm not that good in mathematics, so I will accept this. But I but there are some people who can do both. Yeah, I don't know. Gets ba yung claim of value? If you have the word done, ayan, in this superlative um, degree of comparisons, like yung good, better, best, most, yan. So, that indicates claim of value. Ibig sabihin, nilalahat. Nilalahat ni, uh, ni writer, kaya uh, nag-urge siya ng um, argument towards the, with the readers or with the, the audience. Number three, we have claims of policy. A claim that asserts an action should be taken. Yeah. So look for keywords like should, ought to, or need. These words may not always be present, but if they are, actions are usually called for. So this one, um, this is a kind of claim that suggests an action. But um, still, it urges um, the audience and the readers to, to start an argument or a debate, whether to accept or to not accept the, the, the claim. So decisions about whether we should take an action or not are the most complex of arguments, of course, because if you uh, will do or you will take an action of that, for that uh, thing, so there will be questions pa rin. But if you don't, if you will not do it, may mga questions pa rin. So saan ka lulugar? What if we do and what if we fail to act? So there are still um, counterattacks to your uh, claim if you do or if you do not. So let's have some examples for you to understand more. Fetal tissue should be banned in any research undertaking. So do you agree? This is a suggestion for researchers that fetal tissue should be banned in research undertaking. You know fetal tissues? For example, bone marrow. Yan. For uh, the doctors who are studying or who are conducting research to find uh, the cure for leukemia. Yan. So they will bone marrow sa research. So the suggestion is, dapat daw hindi nagagamit ng mga fetal tissues pag nagre-research. Yan. Do you agree? Ulitin ko ha, yung fetal tissues, yung mga parts ng katawan na ginagamit ng mga doctors sa research. So the suggestion is, the, the doctors or the researcher researchers should stop using fetal tissues in researches. So, will you agree? No. Yeah. So, maybe um, if you agree, you value life or you value the, the human body. But if you disagree, yeah, maybe you support the, the doctors or the medical practitioners or the researchers in searching for that cure or for that uh, medicine na pwedeng gamitin to cure Leukemia. Yan. So this can cause debate or argument between doctors, pwede, um, patients, pwede rin, or even readers, even us. Yan. Kasi pag, pag binan nila, paano nila mahanap yung gamot or yung cure sa leukemia? Pag hindi nila binan, uh, di wala rin gamot sa leukemia. So anong gagawin? Yan. The government should continue to offer scholarship programs, especially to the poor but bright students. Do you agree? Of course, you will agree. But if you are um, a person in the administration, you might think or you might uh, think twice whether you will implement scholarship programs or not. Yan. Why? So, ikaw yung, if you are the leader, ikaw mismo magde-debate yung sarili mo. So, maybe you will think, we are in the middle of pandemic. 
So what should I prioritize? Is scholarship of the students or uh, the, the needs of my constituents? Yeah. Or if you are from the opposition, tanongin mo yung leader, you are the leader of the state or the, the city. We are in the middle of pandemic. Could you prioritize the students or the needs of our constituents? So may tanong pa rin. Whether you do it or uh, you don't do it, there are still counter-attacks or counter-claims. So gender equality needs to be strengthened in the academy. Agree or not? Gender equality should be strengthened in the academy. Agree. And there will be uh, some who will disagree. Kasi why, why only in the academe? Academe is uh, related to teachers and professors. So why, why just to strengthen gender equality only in the academy? Why not to strengthen it in all of, um, all of the professions? So whether you strengthen the gender equality in the academe or not, there will still be counterclaims or counterattacks to that claim. Baka tanungin ka, bakit sa, bakit sa akadim lang? O kaya, bakit gender equality ang gusto mong ipropose sa akadim ay eh, nasa education? So, dalawang concept yung pwede nilang i-counterattack. Yan. Ano bang tawag dun sa flip top? Rebat. Rebatal. Okay, so... You have questions with the claim so far. Let's have some recap. So for the claims of fact, as long as you have the evidences or um, data to support the claim, to make uh, it true or to prove that it is true, that is considered as a claim of fact. For claim of judgment or claim of value, if the claim is emphasizing comparisons between uh, objects or uh, your judgment, they ask for your judgment towards um, the matters or things that you like or you dislike. So that is a claim of value or judgment. And for the claims of policy, if it suggests an action that uh, is, should be taken and that there will be counterclaims or counterattacks to that claim, so it is a claim of policy. So whether you do it or you don't do it, there will still be uh, counterclaims to that uh, suggestion or policy. Yan. So let's have some practice. Madali lang to. You just have to identify whether the statements are claims of fact, claims of value, or claims of policy. You just have to write fact, value, or policy. We have 10 items. Yan. So number one, living in the countryside is better than living in the city. Claim of fact, claim of value, or claim of policy. Yeah, it's a claim of value. Obviously, you have the word than. But this statement is actually asking your view or your uh, insight of living, uh, which is the best place to live, countryside or the city. Yeah. So maybe for the others, it's the city. For the others, it's the countryside. Number two, other planets have already been visited by... People. Other planets have already been visited by people. Claim of fact, claim of value, or claim of policy. Value. Other planets have already been visited by people. This is a claim of fact. What are the evidences that we can use to prove that other planets have already been visited by people. And what are the evidences? You have you have Neil Armstrong. You have NASA. You have Mars. Diba recently, there are some astronauts who have uh, landed in Mars. So this is a fact. Yeah. Number number three. 
football is more exciting than basketball. Claim of fact, claim of value, or claim of false. Yeah. So this is a claim of value and this is debatable for the people who are playing football and basketball. So what is more exciting, football or basketball? Yeah. They will have your judgment. Yeah. Money enlistment to military should be implemented in the Philippines. Claim of fact, claim of value, or claim of policy. Yeah, this is claim of policy. May I ask if this will be implemented? Will you agree? mag agree ba kayo na ipatupad to? When you reach 18 years old, you will be uh, forced to join military. Yan, taray, nag, may nag yes. Yeah, just like North Korea, South Korea, China, Russia, Germany ata din. So not. It depends on the belief of uh, the person para masaya. <laughs> Yeah. So this is a claim of policy. Number five, English is an important language. English is an important language. Yeah, it's a fact. Whether you like it or you have to like it, English is an important language in all aspects or all disciplines or all professions or all fields, whether in business, in education, uh, entertainment, industry. Yeah, English is important. So this is a fact. Number six, students should wear their identification card anytime and anywhere in the school campus. Claim of fact, claim of policy, or claim of value. Yeah, this is policy. So this suggests that the students though should wear ID anytime and anywhere, as long as you are in the school campus. So... Maybe no one will disagree to this. Only those people who have lost their IDs. Yeah. Too much exposure to cell phones and internet can cause depression. Yeah. What are the evidences that we can use to prove that this is true? What type of evidences? So we can have, yeah, the social media. We can have suicidal uh, reports, suicide reports of the teenagers. We can also have the medical records of um, patients who, who are suffering through depression. Yeah. So this is fact. Birds are the most lovable pets. Fact, uh, fact, value, or policy. Huh? This is a value. What if I don't like birds? What if I only have cat and dogs at home? Those are my pets. They are not birds. And they are also lovable. So this is claim of value to. Kasi you have the word most. You're comparing birds to all of the types of pets that you may have at home. So this is claim of value. Yan. So kinukumpara mo yung ibon. Law is more encompassing profession than medicine. Claim of fact, claim of policy, or claim of value. Yeah, value. So this is debatable for the students who are, uh, who wants to become doctors and lawyers. Debatable yan. Last, we have call centers should hire single individuals. Yeah, policy. So with these claims of policy, as you can see, um, whenever uh, the, the administration is about to implement a rule, new rule or new law in the country, di ba maraming umaalma, maraming may side comments because of the policy. So that is a claim or debatable claim. 
So call center should hire single individuals. Um, those who are working in call centers who are married, so they will disagree kapag ka ganun. Yeah. So gets ba? You have questions so far with the claims. The next lesson will be about context in written text. 